you're still watching ways now it's world smile day today and here's how to celebrate this day make people around you smile like they're already smiling do a random act of kindness um buy a stranger coffee tea or in nigeria give them money give them cash because nigerians <laughs> like money compliment someone surprise someone in your family with a visit cook a meal for them or do something special you can also volunteer your time and money at a local non-profit organization but just make sure you're putting smiles on people's faces <sighs> that's quite ironic <laughs> <laughs> why the way she, the way she went to Ah, yes. Yeah. I'm smiling. Yeah. Yo, no, you're not smiling. Why are you not smiling? This your smile is so fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's laughing. I think one thing that put a smile on my face today was when we took the call from your niece and nephew. Yes. They were so yeah. cute. Oh, thank you. They were so beautiful. And they wanted to speak to, let me um, share a secret with what they call um, Uwa. Auntie Utata. Tata Uwa. No. Tata Uwa. <laughs> so Tata in French means auntie. So, oh, wow. yeah, Tata, tata. Uwa. So in, in French is Tata Tonton. Tonton is uncle. Okay. Tata is, this, ah. is, um, is um, auntie. Hmm. Oh, yeah, done. I forgot to mention today is my older sister's birthday, October second. So Faith? happy birthday, Susie! Uh, I forgot to mention it. Faith, Susie, Susie, Susie. she's happy in the UK. Birthday, Susie. Yes. Oh, happy, happy birthday, Susie! Oh, it's my birthday on the fifth. Just in case you say you did not hear. Okay, I, I, let me write it down now. Fifth of October, October. October. Akani Mo. I can start receiving gifts. Okay, so now. while we are at it, what did you find for us in the news? Okay. <laughs> great way to but i'm expecting my gift anyways no problem so today's news is taken from um channels tv and particularly it's let me read the headline nigeria at 60 i disagree with the bleak view of our history says osibajo so um the vice president yami osibajo di he disagrees with the fact you know that the future of our country is very bleak and a lot of that was going on yesterday um, so forget about the protests. I don't want to go talk about mm -hmm. the protests because I think that that's like a political move. But mm -hmm. a lot of people were, a few people were optimistic, but everybody kept, you know, there was this dull drum, this sad feeling, looking at where we we're coming from and looking at where we're going now. And nobody seems to, you know, see any future for us. The next mm -hmm. thing we're asking is if you have done your IIT, um, uh, IELTS exam. Yeah, so you could go to Canada. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, there's something he said that I want to mm. quote. It says, your generation, and this he was speaking at the virtual edition of the NASFAT Global Youth Seminar. Now, this is what he said, and I'd like to read it. Your generation has the tools to usher in a new age of abundance and wealth creation that will lift our society beyond the hunger-induced and poverty-inducing squabbles over a national cake that has ceased to exist. Hmm. Very strong words, but how are we backing these words with action? So when I was reading this, okay, fine, you're saying these things, but are we enabling the youth for today to be leaders for tomorrow. Hmm. Uwa, do you see a future where you would have a president under 55, not to talk about under 50? You know, interestingly, myself and my husband were talking today, and, you know, it just occurred to us that Obama, like, there's no, there's nothing, there's nowhere he can actually walk again for the rest of his life. Hmm. At He's a young the age. Highest. Ha in the plan on the planet. That is the highest position you can ever reach. Attain. Being mm. the president of the United States, at what age did mm. he attain that? Do you understand? Do you know it actually dawned on us that we didn't so, even so, check so, his so age. That, so that for is me. The, yeah, so that, that's, the, that's the news for me is that while these things are beautiful and you're saying we should have hope, is the educational system speaking to these things that you're mm -hmm. saying? Where are the opportunities, even in public service? You know, where are the opportunities for the youth to actually prepare to be leaders of the future? Absolutely. Well, we don't okay, have so me. much time, but quickly share your opinion, then you take your story. Okay, I'm going to say that I'm not really interested in the age of whoever the leader is. I'm just interested in the content of the person because what you can delivering? always have yeah. advisors and mm -hmm. all that. So it doesn't matter. And I also think that leadership comes with maturity mm. for me. Mm. So I'm not into whether he's in his 40s or the, there's one governor, I'm not going to mention his name anyway. In Nigeria, the youngest governor in Nigeria, who is a colossal failure. Wow. So what are we talking about? I think it's just about content mm. for me. Mm. Absolutely. No, content is king, actually. Con content is king. Yeah. All right. So what did you find for us, Lamy? Okay. The, um, the ICC, that's the International Criminal Court at the AIGS, has a, an opening. And Nigeria also sent a representative. Unfortunately, we were 
we weren't qualified highly. Hmm. And um, that's so much of a disappointment, uh, sorry, disappointment to me, considering the, the, the league of the person that was um, sent to. Yes, yeah. our representative wow. is currently the high court, sorry, the chief judge of the high court of the FCT. Wow. Do you understand? And it was rated low. Really low. And I'm going to say that was the, the what, best what, we could what have What were produced. the criteria? Well, I wouldn't what know, I but so why they said no, for... No ends of the 20 contenders. Sorry, there were some um, statutes that was required to know. The Rome Statute and all that. They had their own... It's on their website, but I didn't go into that. They just read it from the... And he didn't know it. Wow. So what my own take from this is, is this the best we could have produced? Mm -hmm. This is a direct, direct yes. result of nepotism. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can tell me. We as Nigerians are very smart. So why on earth? Are we going to send somebody that was rated lowly? Oof. That is a slap on the judiciary in Nigeria. Hmm. It's an indictment on the corruption going on. <laughs> All right, my and story is actually just okay, a short one because really don't, we don't we run out of time. The president was just commending um, a young lady, Dr. Fumi Adewara, on winning the World Bank Sustainable Development Goals and her global award. Um, um, she was a global award 2020, so she collected an award, awardee rather for 2020 and I, I'm very happy with her and I must commend her. The truth is that time and time again, like what you just said, Nami, it actually ties what I was gonna say that, about this story that we have brilliant, extremely brilliant yeah, nice. minds in Nigeria. Do we thrive as we in ought to country. in this country? No, we go out of the country and we make heavy waves. You know, we break tables, shatter ceilings and all of that. If our government, they are truly, truly serious about us as a people, you would know that it's not for lack of brilliant minds. Of course. It is for lack of government. Enabling environment. I'm telling you. All right, so we'll wrap up there at, um, <laughs> that's all we can take for what's in the news. You know, we are in the independent spirit, so we're trying to bring out all the things so that our leaders will see it and hmm. help us to help them <laughs> to do well. <laughs> all right, so we'll um, take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking about um, what will put a smile on your face as a Nigerian. So you tell us, and uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.